Hey everybody, it's Sarah from the Style Blog, and for today's video, I brought in professional reinforcements. This is my husband and dentist, Dr. Grant. Hey guys. Today we're going to explain to you the very best and very worst ways to whiten your teeth at home. We're going to talk to you about the most cost effective, easy, and safest. Safest. Safest options to whiten your teeth at home. Thank you. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, first things first is you kind of just need to take care of your teeth, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, both of us, we use electric toothbrushes. Research shows they're the, they're the best at keeping things clean. So, I've heard that um, drinking cola, tea, coffee, wine, etc. can really stain your teeth, but what happens if I have to have my morning coffee and I want white teeth? Yeah, it's hard to get rid of those. Uh, I'm a coffee drinker, so best thing to do right after you drink those is brush. Brush your teeth right afterwards. If you can't do that, pop a stick of gum in your mouth, chew, chew gum. That can kind of help prevent staining. Awesome. Okay, and it's still important for me to visit my dentist twice a year, right? Absolutely. Yeah, go to, go to your checkups. It's easier for us to fix things when, when they're very small, and it's good to have a healthy smile if you're going to go whitening it. So. Yeah, awesome. Okay, and also let's talk about smoking and chewing tobacco. Not only is it really bad for you, but... Yeah, it also it, uh, can really stain your teeth. So do your best. Try to quit. Um, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to explore a bunch of teeth whitening options, and we're going to go from worst, least effective, most damaging to your teeth to our very favorite and the best options. P.S. I have very sensitive teeth, so I'm going to tell you how to modify our favorite option for sensitive teeth. Okay, the first very, very worst tooth whitening option out there that is... It's pretty popular kind of, right now. Yeah, yeah it's, everywhere. It's pretty damaging your teeth. That charcoal toothpaste. We see a lot of those cool, fancy photos of people with black teeth and they're brushing their teeth. Be really careful with that stuff. Um, the way that works is it's, it's super abrasive. You're actually scraping away the top layer of your tooth. Underneath that, sure, it's white, um, but you're losing tooth structure. So as a dentist, I don't like that. Down the road, that's really going to cause issues. So Okay, it's definitely not a good option. Moving on. <laughs> Next, I don't know if you've seen those teeth whitening pins. They're always like on the home shopping networks. Yeah, yeah. I feel like those wouldn't work very well because you're just like washing it off right away. I haven't seen a lot of research on that. It's like you're wiping bleach, but there's nothing holding that on. So I'm not seeing that being very effective. Maybe um, they work, but just not. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, barely. Maybe a tiny bit, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want that, that bleach kind of running everywhere else in my mouth as well. So I, so I, we're putting that on the low portion yeah, of the scale. Yeah, I'd be careful on that. Next, I've seen those like mouth teeth lights everywhere. You can buy them from basically anywhere. You can buy them on Amazon. Yeah, we use it. Yeah, the like home home whitening. The home lights. whitening lights. Yeah, I don't think those are probably very effective. They're going to be a lot lower powered than the ones you get at, like a dental office. Zoom is one of the ones we use in dental office. So I, I can't imagine that really does much. You put bleach in the tray. You're putting that in your mouth, and the light turns on. I, it might help a little bit. Um, it's nothing like what you're gonna get at the office. So. I was reading those lights are kind of unregulated also, yeah, so that's kind of dangerous. Yeah, well, yeah, so be careful on those. Okay, next option, how do you feel about whitening toothpaste? It's fine. It does um, act a little bit like the charcoal. Um, it is an abrasive. Most of the time they're using an abrasive, scraping off the top layer of your teeth to get down to the stuff that's not stained. That doesn't uh, sound good. It's not great, no. Um, so kind of watch out for those. I'd say they're effective. I don't know exactly how safe they would be long, long, long term. All right. So let's move to ones that actually do work and we actually personally use. Yeah. Okay. So let's move to our favorite at home whitening product. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We use these all the time and they're really what have made our teeth super white at home. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we love Crest White Strips. I know they come in tons of varieties, but I just find that they just work so well for me. Yeah, um, with these, they, Crest, they have like five different options at the stores. I will say, I think Sarah agrees, the more expensive ones will work better and they stick to your teeth better. I, we've tried like the really value cheaper like ones. Like the Equate ones yeah. and we didn't love them. You put them on your teeth and if you talk or try to drink a sip of water or anything, they just slide right off. So it's yeah. really hard to keep them on your teeth. So And I have really sensitive teeth and for some reason these Equate ones really zinged my teeth. You know that feeling where your nerves kind of feel like they're on yeah. fire? I don't have that problem with the Crest ones. I don't really know why that happens. but. We just didn't love these, so normally I recommend products to you that are inexpensive and work just as well as the better products, but honestly, I feel like you kind of get what you pay for here. Yeah, I would agree. So you always tell your patients to kind of use them how they're directed, right? Yeah, um, read the label, 
follow directions. So once my teeth are white, like how I like them, I kind of just like to throw these on once every couple weeks, once a month, just kind of keep them white. You think that's a good idea? Yeah, I agree, definitely. Yeah, follow directions. If you're trying to get multiple shades lighter, uh, follow the directions, you'll probably have to use them quite a bit more often. Once, once you're at the, the point where you like it, you can kind of space those out. Just kind of keep <laughs> things white. Great advice, love that. And I have really sensitive teeth, so sometimes I have to space them out even more. So if I'm doing an immediate treatment that says wear them every day, I kind of have to wear them every other day or for less time, I feel like. It might not be as effective, but it keeps my teeth from getting really, really sensitive. Also, there is sensitive toothpaste. Check that out. Sensodyne's one of them, one of the best ones. You can use that right after whitening, and that really helps. Also, my patients say they have tried sensitive strips. I think Crest is the one that makes them, but they're, they kind of look like these. They're, they're just little strips you put on your teeth. Um, you can use those right after whitening. I think that would help a lot. Awesome. Those are great tips. And lastly, another option that actually probably works better than those, but you do have to visit your dentist to get the kit. Can you kind of explain what that is? Yeah, we use Opalescence. It's a, an at-home whitening kit, but your dentist has to make you trays. Um, they're clear little trays. Um, they snap onto your teeth. What you'll do is you'll take the, the, the um, bleaching agent, you, you place it inside the tray, you snap them in, you wear those as directed. Those will really, really whiten your teeth a lot faster than any of these other ones. So. But it's um, prescription, right? It is prescription, yeah. So you gotta you gotta go visit your uh, dental office, office. You can do it at home, but you have to get it from your dentist. Correct. Yeah. So and those are, kind of... yeah, and those are a little more expensive. If you're looking for multiple multiple shades, though, that's that's probably the best way to do it. I think that we've given you a lot of great options here. Yeah. Um, our favorite, again, is the pressed white strips. We use them over and over and over. We're not being paid to say this. We just really love them. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and I am a dentist. I'm not your dentist. So if you got specific questions for your own mouth, make sure you go see your own dentist. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we enjoyed spending our afternoon with you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let us know if you want to see more of these videos featuring Dr. Grant in the future. If you have any more <laughs> dental questions or teeth whitening problems, let us know. Yeah. And we're so excited to see you next time. We'll see you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.